Ne mi şey mi espri? Okay, so like I said, um, it's just to give us some few guidelines about using the admin account because it's one account and all the Scrum Masters will be using it. And we just don't want a situation where there will be issues. Um, it's just one account, like I said, and then one person making a mistake is going to hold up every other person that can use it, every other team, other teams that can use it because it's just, like I said, just one account. Recording okay, so so the project um the project board are to be set up by the scrum masters we said that yesterday and it's just one project board per team okay so like i said also yesterday the scrum masters will need to you know come together you need to collaborate and decide when to meet and when to set up your project board and it is only um you can only create your project board with the admin account it's the one that has the permission for you to be able to because it's like an administrator account has the permission for you to be able to uh, do that. Your own personal account, you can log in, you can view things, but you won't be able to create the project board and you know do everything we did yesterday or we saw. <clears throat> you saw me doing yesterday with your personal account. It has to be with the admin account. Okay, and then the admin account will be forwarded, like I said earlier on, to just one person. And that one uh, Scrum Master representative for the team will be the one cascading it to every other um, Scrum Masters in your team because you know yourselves in your team. I don't. So I'll send it to one person who is going to volunteer tonight after I finish the um, slide. And then we'll use that person if they're on the laptop also to use that account to see that it is working. And then everybody can see the way um, the person has logged in with it, what you see when you're using your um, the admin account, what you're able to see and things like that, which you might not see if you're using your personal account, we'll be able to all see that together, okay? And then, like I said, it's just, you follow the same process. The only thing is with the admin account, you don't need to get an invite because with the um, details, I'll be sending by Telegram to whoever is, is, I'm going to send it to, you'll have the URL there that you can just, you know, uh, copy and paste into a browser or a tab or click on that to take it to where you would be using it or where it will be asking you for the email address and the password that you need to put in, yeah? And then um, you can't share that admin account with any other member of your team. If you don't want them to go in, and you know, I said that account has permission to do a lot of things and you don't want your team members to go in and start doing things and everything. You can't share that with anybody. If anybody asks you for it and you're not sure if you're supposed to share it with them, please add, ask admin, reach out to allow me. She will tell you if you can um, share it with the person or not. But please, let's just keep to this rule. Because like I said, it's with just one account and we don't want to delay other people or delay the project or because we shared it with the wrong person and they've done going to do what they shouldn't do with it, okay? So we just want to look at the do's and don't, the don'ts. Those are the do's. So to look at the don'ts, you don't use the account on your mobile phone device. With mobile phone device, when you're trying to sign in into anything Microsoft on your mobile phone device, it asks you to generate code with your authenticator. Once you generate your code with the admin account, you've personalized it. Any other person won't be able to use it. It will be asking for code. And because the code was generated on your laptop, on through your email, personal email account and all that, any code generated will be sent to you. And that wouldn't be nice because what that person has just done is to personalize that admin account for themselves. And then it takes the organization, you know, a long process, getting a IT person and everything to go to the back end and be removing things is delayed that we don't need. So the earlier we keep to the rule, you know, kind of the better for us. Also, like I said, if you don't use it with your mobile phone, you won't be able to link it with your personal account. But let's assume that you are even on your laptop and is asking you to uh, um, generate a code from your laptop, uh, from your email address. Do you want a code to be sent to your email address? Please don't. Don't. Okay. Don't link it to your personal account. Because like I said, it will personalize it and that will be a headache for every other person using that admin account. 
don't generate a code or use the admin account. Uh, don't generate your code and use with the admin account if prompted. So there's every possibility that maybe because you're using that account, admin account for the first time, it might be asking you, prompting you to say, oh, would you like a code and things? Please don't say yes, because once you say yes, like I said, it's going to ask you for your email, send it to your email, and then that would be a problem. Once it's asking you for a code and everything, if they, if you don't have an option to press no there, if you can't go forward except, you know, to that, to that, generate that code and everything, please reach out to the admin instead. Reach out to me or reach out to Laomi. Send a screenshot of what he's asking you to me, and then I'll be able to guide us to what we can do. I might say, let's jump on a meeting together, and then we'll see what we need to do. Okay, and then you need to be patient also when you send message out. So don't send message out now and expect in the next 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes for the person to jump on it. Because if you're using it during the week, let's also be conscious that that person might be at work and might not see your message on time or anything like that. So please, let's also be uh, conscious and considerate for other people that you're sending messages to. If you're not sure what to do when prompted by Microsoft while you're using the admin account, like I said, please stop and reach out to the admin rather than uh, follow the prompting. Yeah, And then we create a problem with that account. What it does is it locks everybody down. Everybody won't be able to do anything until we reach out to our escalate to admin, escalate to me. I get in touch with the person that will rectify it. I have to get that person's timing also. And in all those times we're waiting, you know, nothing is being done by not just you, but every other person that is using that account. So it's just for us to please be aware of this, uh, you know, little, little things before um, we use that. Um, we use that account, okay? So let me come back, I'm going to stop sharing, come back to the meeting. Do we have, with a show of hands, who is volunteering to represent the alpha team so that I can send the code to you? I'm uh, sorry, the, the account details to you. Anyone, show of hands? Alpha and um, the flex team. Ah, nobody's volunteering for your teams. I would have, but I don't have a laptop. He arrives on Monday. Hello. So I, I was on a cell phone. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I'm getting feedback because I was using my phone as well. Okay. Yeah, so I'll volunteer for my, my team. Okay, so anybody volunteering has to be on a laptop so that Hello. we try it out. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. If you're volunteering yeah, for your I can't team, find the hand on. raising thing, so I just put um use the volume instead. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do are you on your laptop, Ese? Yes, I am. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to send. What team are you, Ese? Please. Um, flex. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it to your Telegram. Yeah. Okay. And then who is representing the alpha team? You have to be on your laptop. No one? Oh dear. Does the person always have to be available, like, or just be available on the laptop now? No, just be available on the laptop now. Uh, this is being recorded. Um, you'll share your screen. I'll put you through how to use it. I'll do it first myself. I'm going to share my screen first, show us how to use it. And then the person I sent it to will also share their screen to show that, okay, it's not just working on Moji's side alone, yeah? It's working on my side alone and everything. And then that person, the, 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 um, what I'm going to DM to you, you send to all the other uh, Scrum Masters in your team. But remember that to create the project, what you still need to come together. So I just want to send it out because I might be doing it and the person decide, okay, let me be doing it behind also, just as, you know, what G is doing it and everything. But it will be good also to share your screen and, and follow so that every your team members will know that um, you're able to use it also. Okay. Yeah. So we still don't have anybody for Alpha team. I can't even see everybody's okay. name. Um... Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking for the guild. Okay, found it. Hmm. 
All right, I've sent it to USA. Just confirm that you have it. Okay, while the Alpha team are still deliberating if they're going to, <laughs> the person that it's is going deliberating. to so, all right, let me share my screen and then just um, take us through. Okay, got your message, Jane. We, we still need somebody from your team also to do it. But what I'm trying to safeguard against is a situation where people will come back to me to say, I'm sorry, I can't, we can't do it because of this and that. Once we've been able to, um, I'm going to use incognito because I've got the other one open with my own personal details. And if I keep using the admin account, it will keep um, jamming kind of. So that's why I'm using incognito. And then I'm going to put the URL in here so that we can all see uh, what I'm doing. I'm just trying to look at the URL. URL will come with the email, um, with the message that you will get. Okay, so that won't be um, a problem. Um, I've gotten the message you sent, and it okay. says to forward to my other scrum masters in my in my team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Should I so do let's, that now? Let's finish tonight. No, you can do it later. Okay. So that we just use just to use you as um the representative for your team, and then you can forward to them later. Okay. So, um, forward slash close close to uh, okay so. I went out the wrong thing. Those guys you took down. Yep, I'm right. Okay, so once you use, like I said, that link that I've just typed in now is already in the message you will get. Okay, so once you type it in and you enter in any of the browser, it brings you here. And this is where you now put the account, um, the account name into. That's we are using our own account name. No, that this is not your account name. This is the admin account. As you can is see, that that's what your... we are, is that what well, that's what we are going to use if we want yes, to Yes, that's the it. admin account that you're going to use. So if you're using the same browser that you've used to join the organization, yeah, mm -hmm. it will be better to sign out sign out of your own personal account. Okay. Before using the admin account. Okay, okay. So you can't be in with two account on the same browser that's why i couldn't use the the other one i'm using my um i'm not i'm using incognito so that it doesn't give me an issue when i'm okay 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 i've put the password in and then i click on sign in and that's it so i will say yes okay so once you click on yes, stay signed in. Most times when you use the um the link again, the URL, it just takes you in because you've said stay signed in. What you're doing by doing that is making that laptop and that browser recognize that login details. And as a scrum master, yeah. you know because you'll be doing a lot of things and everything, you can you, you can you know stay on it. So once you come in, this is what you will see. Okay. This is what you see. This is the that's the organization Blue Sky Citadel team. That's the organization. Yeah. And this is what you see. These are the other projects. 
that have been mm -hmm. on the organization on the on the training school and then mm -hmm. over here normally if you had signed it by yourself you'll be seeing your own initial here but over here what you will see is a and that is the um initial for the admin account so when i click on it now you can see that is the admin account that is there mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe you want to do something personally. You don't want to use the admin account to do it because anything you do with the admin account will be showing as admin, admin seven, admin seven. If you want to do something that is not Scrum Master related or project administrator related, you want mm -hmm. to um, carry out something and you want it to show your name, all you have to do is sign out from this one, okay. sign in with your own personal details, and then you, you're wow. able to do whatever you want to do. But for okay. your project creation and all that, you have to use the admin account to do that. Okay. okay. And okay. if I if I had signed in with a personal account, it won't allow me to see this. I won't be able to see this new pro create new project because it doesn't have the permission to see some things. That's why okay. most of you, when you get to the organization, is saying, "Whoops, there's an error." Blah 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 blah. Because your account, personal account, doesn't have the permission to see some things. So this is the admin account. You're able to create your project. Everything we did yesterday, you're able to yeah. do it now with this account. Okay? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing. Um, I say if you can share and then we'll go through the same process I just got to. So I just need to know that um, people can, can use it easily. Uh, I say. Isaiah, go. Okay, I, I want to ask, uh, are we to log in with admin account right now or we should just be listening as mm -hmm. trainers? Listen as I, I go. That was why I wanted to send, send it to just one person. So if I had made it open to everybody, everybody will be doing the same thing at the back and they may be making mistakes and all that. Listen as we go. Watch the video later on. Once you get the admin account, try to use it to log in and make sure you have access. If you don't have, if there's any okay, you're having, um, don't reach out to me. With uh, I have a problem. I can't access it. You need to show send me a screenshot so that I know what the problem is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not able to share. I don't know why. Is um, when I clicked on the share button, I'm seeing. Um, choose what to share with app zoom chrome tab window entire screen and it's on entire, and do screen. entire screen yeah but it's not it's not clicking when you when you're on entire screen at the bottom right somewhere it will have share a button blue button yeah it has share but it's not showing share it's still not coming up yep it's only the council that is highlighted <laughs> Window entire screen is not hi highlighting the share button. And you invite are you okay? Uh, but you have the share button there. It's just gray grayed out. Yes. Okay. Click on the entire screen again. On you do. Yeah, I'm even seeing share system audio. Well, it's not. It's not. It's um, not. It's that that share is still grayed out. Yes, yeah, still grayed out. Are you using um iMac? Apple products? No, I'm using HP. HP should be able to pick it. Mm. It's still grayed out. All of them, even Chrome tab is great. Everything is grayed out. So okay. Uh Farouk, what team do you belong to? He belongs to my team. Your team. All right, SS, please share the details with Farouk since Farouk can share so that we'll use Farouk as our driver tonight. Okay, so it says you cannot share screen while the other participant is sharing. That's because Farouk is sharing. Okay, Farouk has stopped sharing. So try and share again now. It's still the same. Farouk, go ahead. Let me send you the personal. I'll send it to your. All right, thanks, Essay, for that. We have somebody that has joined us with. Okay, Essay is your your laptop, the HP eight forty. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, that is me. That is Talabia Mobile So I'm trying oh, okay. to join with my laptop and see if I can, you know, ah, yes, get something done. It's me, the HP eight forty. That's me. Okay. 
All right, uh, Belanle, what team are you? I mean, how for team? Ah, Alpha Pit. My okay. system is Stephanie. It's, it will come up as Stephanie, but let me show you. Let's say you are Alpha team. also, isn't it? No, I'm not Alpha. I'm, You're flat. Um, okay, so Belanle will represent the Alpha team. Yeah, um, Laomi, you were saying I, something? I said they should be Hello? I've enabled something there. Let, let her retry. Okay, I say, um, Laomi wants you to retry to share again. Okay. No, still the same thing. Still the same. Yeah. And there's more to it. So for yeah. something like that, you might need to actually log out and re-log in, but let's move on. Let's fire go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mochi. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Balanle, I'm going to send you for you. Sorry, Farouk, is your surname Anto? No, no, no. My surname is Brilo. Okay, I'm not seeing him. Farouk, if you can locate essay through this um, guild, say hi, send her hi, so that she can send the details to you. Would it still be an, at SA? Yeah, I'll just look for you from Flex and see. I'm going to send to you for the... Okay, I'm sending to you now. Yeah. I've sent a hi to you, so. Hello, Muji. Yes. Um, I didn't I'm see you, but I've sent to you the... My, I, I sent it on the... My way on, around. I sent it through the bill. Like, honestly, I don't... I don't know what oh, to no, do. No, no. I've sent you a personal message. Please check. All okay. right. Yeah, I've seen it. It's come through. Isaiah, you're raising your hand. I'm going to look back and look back. Okay. I, had, I actually want her to say maybe they can send it to me. Maybe I will share my screen. That's why okay, what team are you, Isaiah? Um, Flezzy, Flezzy. Oh, dear. Flex people are on fire. Alpha, what's going Mar on? Mar 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 for... Or, um, I've, I've your messages. All right, please oh, let's sorry. let's take it one after the other so that it's not we're not a bit, a bit rowdy here. Yeah? Any tea you were saying? Yeah, I was saying <laughs> I'm gutted there's nobody in Alpha with laptop today. But after the call, is it okay for you to still send it to the Scrum um masters in Alpha? And then when we do agree a time. We will just follow the instructions that you okay, should. That's fine. But I just need one person to send it to. So who who am I sending it to in your team? Oh God, I'm happy to take it. <laughs> You're happy to. If at the end of today we don't get someone with laptop, um, I'm happy to take it. Okay. After this meeting, I might forget. I have a lot of things in this head. Don't Bambi. worry, I'll, bo I'll buzz you. <laughs> All right, Farouk, we're waiting for you. Let's yeah, hurry up so that we'll finish before right. the other team members join for the demo. All right, so I just share my screen now. Yes, Chris, thanks. Um, okay, you want me to plug it into the... To plug no, 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 share your screen. You will do it while sharing your screen. All right, just a second. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay. Let me see. HTTPS, let me just type that in. Before you continue, is that the same one where you have your personal details on? Are you using Chrome or Edge? Is this Edge or no, Chrome? No, I'm using I'm using Chrome. Chrome. Is your personal one open on this? Because I can see um Azure open on um, the tabs that are there. I think that was the one. That was the one I, you know, logged into. I think it's the administrative. It's the Citadel one, you know, that took us to that oops that oops page. 
Okay, so that's that's with your personal account. If that is open, if you have not signed out of that, you won't be able to. I, I won't sign be able to with use this. this. All right. Um, you want me so to you go can there? Click and on then those sign tabs. Up? Yes, click on those tabs and just sign out and close them, and then we can come back to this one. Okay. So just close the tab. What's that? Okay, go on. No, go I on. signed out. I signed okay, out. Okay, go on. Yes, go on. It's brought it up for you. So just enter with it. See, it's taking you back. Because it's even though you signed out, Microsoft is very temperamental. Even though you signed out, there mm -hmm. I'm, I can still see a lot of um Microsoft tabs that are open. If you uh, go to the maybe, beginning, maybe I should use your... another. Let me use another browser. Yes, let me go. Maybe I think use that, another, I think that was, uh, another. Yeah. I think that was Edge. Let me use Chrome. Um, So even on this one, you're Even still there. You can see yeah. that you've used it on this one also. Oh, jeez. Um, so how does one deal with this? Okay, Almost... so what you need to do is just wait for it. You sign out of your account. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hold on. Okay, so what you can do now, yeah? yeah. Open another tab. Before we okay. close this one, open another tab. No, no, on the same. No, you've gone. You've gone on edge again. Even on the edge, yeah. I can on the tab. There are some tabs that are open. I can see Microsoft open on them. That's why it keeps taking you back into your own account. So you need to click on them and log out of them. If you look at all the tabs that you have open at the top, there are some Microsoft. Um, You've opened some Microsoft tabs on. That's why it's giving you that. So open another okay. tab here. Make it a full screen. Make it a full screen. No, not there. Not there. Because you're you're on another browser. So make it a full screen at the top where your cursor is just go up. Okay. Go up a bit and make it full screen at the top of updates. Update, update, update. Where is Okay, if you is go up, the... up as if you want to close this where you have the uh, the cross, go up there. That lit, that little no, no, there, not there, not that one. You're going on another browser, not that one. Come to, come over to your left. Just keep coming to your left. Mm -hmm. Annotate, new share, chat, participants. Nice no. around the around the close symbol, around the close symbol. Is it to the left of the cursor now? To the left of your cursor, yes. All right. Okay, good. You're here now. Now, go, go as if you want to close that. You want to close it, but don't close it. The little box beside this is what you click on. I need you to make this full because you, you've opened two browsers. Not that one, not that one. Go no. up a bit. There's a box, no, that's a square one. box. Just move a bit. Up, up, go on, up, up, a up, bit. No. up, up. another one, up. Oh, my God. Don't worry. Okay, you've gone out of it again. Come back to Google. Okay, so go up there. Go take up it there. up like that. Just take it up, up, up. Up again. Up I think more, the more, I think up. the issue is that the the zoom um little the zoom bar screen is 
Oh, covering it. He is covering that. Yeah. Ah, I get you now. So okay, so don't worry, don't worry. That's fine. Let's let's go on on it. Okay, so now you've opened a, a new tab. That's good. The previous one that has DevOps solution. Can you close that one? The pre previous tab. Close that one. Okay. So on this one, I put your your URL in here. Okay, good. This is what we want. All right, for this place, before you click on use another account, tell it to forget um, your email. Forget my email. Oh, there's what a three email? dots beside, you know where your email is? Just click mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. And don't forget. Forget. Okay, so now put in the um email address on what SS sent to you. Okay. Okay, there's an S that shouldn't be there. Sorry? You've put an S that shouldn't be there. All right. Okay, put the password in. Okay, if you want to save it, um, you can, yeah. <clears throat> and then if you want to stay signed in also, just click yes. Voila, and that is you. And we're in. As and with the admin account. Yeah. If you go at the top now, you know the other one when you were signed, it was seeing FG, your initial. Yeah. But so now you're seeing A, which it's is the um, yeah. So you can bookmark it and save it so that you don't have to be, you know, going in and out. Okay. Would I need to have access to that top bar to bookmark and save? Yeah, if you bookmark it, you 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 should. Okay. So bookmark it, you'll see. The top, the star, the star. I think Click the on it. Is... It's done. Got it. Okay. All right, so open another tab now. And you'll see your bookmark in there. Just open another tab. Mm, it should be showing here. Yeah, that's it. Projects, where you have projects. projects. That's okay. it, bookmarked there. So when you just okay. just click on that, it takes you in. That's easy okay. access, yeah. Beautiful. For you, so that means for you with the admin account, you can mm -hmm. only link your admin account with um the your Google browser, with and the then maybe Chrome your browser. personal one. You can leave that with the Edge browser. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was going to ask, how do I get rid of that Zoom bar at the top if I if I want to move it somewhere else? Because uh, at times when you click down on it, you can drag it away. But remember, if you drag it also, you'll be dragging it to another place again. <laughs> okay, so that's Farouk in. Uh, does anybody have any question with the process we've just done? So most times what happens when you, um, when you might not be able to use the admin account is because your personal account, which you've used to log in, yeah, is still, you're still logged, you're still signed in with that account. And you can see what happened when Farouk tried to use the um, admin account. It won't even allow him to put in the, yeah, that was always thing you should do to, you know, make your screen full. Okay, so once you don't log out of that one, you won't be able to, you to be bringing it up. It will just be going straight into your account because that is what it has recognized. And that was why I had to use incognito because the all for all my browsers, I have different Azure's on them. So if I go to them, it will just be bringing them. 
but with incognito, I'm able to, you know, show us what we need to do. That doesn't mean you can use incognito. It's not as if you can't use it, but it's better to have a browser that re recognizes it because you're a Scrum Master and you'll be doing, you know, a lot of work on your on your board and everything. So it's better to do it this way. Pick maybe one browser for you. It's not as if you can't use both browser. It's just that you have to make sure that you've totally signed out like we did when we came to the Google browser for um, Farouk. We had to sign out of his name, close it, open another tab so that he's not recognizing that. And then that's when you see that we're able to use it. And even initially, when it took us to where he's, um, where we're supposed to sign in, we can see his um, email address there and we had to do forget. So what you're doing is you're clearing the memory of that browser from that email so that you can use the admin account on it. Yeah? Yeah. Or, or does it mean that one can also download maybe another browser like Mozilla Firefox or something? And then yes, just yes, you that? can download any any other browser to use. Okay. But right now you've put them, you you you've bookmarked it on Google. You know that okay, the admin one is the one I have on Google, and then on your edge is where you have your personal one, which you okay. can bookmark also for easy access in and out of it. Do we have any questions from anyone? Any any tea? Yeah, Sorry, yeah, NET, yeah, before I before I go for yeah. that. Is the <laughs> NET a nickname? Shortened form <laughs> of your name, or that's your full name. So my name, my registered name on the program is Tammy, Tammy Aremo. Okay. NET is actually also my name, my first okay. name, but I have a business called NET. So it's just okay. picked that up. Sorry. No, 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 no. Why are you sorry? Don't be sorry. I just wanted to know that I'm Yeah, because I know it can it be right all confusing. Tammy and it and then it's yeah. all over the place. My question is, so how Farouk is locked in mm -hmm. or logged on, does that affect any other Scrum Master? No, from... no, it's an okay. admin account, so anybody can use it. Okay, and it doesn't matter if two people are using it at the same time. It doesn't. Updating it doesn't their team anything. boards as well as saving. It doesn't. And that's okay. why we had those don't... Uh, do not to say that yeah. don't change yeah. things or else it will affect other people using it okay and changes you're making you're making it on that um i'm forgetting what you called it now yesterday the um your the terminology process. in every process okay All right perfect thank you you're welcome ij um moji so basically in uh in a in an organization out there um what warrants you to use like your your private private login details, or you, you you basically use the organizations um 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 uh, as uh, that's the, the the in in an organization out there. Once you're a scrum master, they will give you admin privilege. They will put their okay. admin privilege on your personal work email. Okay. And then your line manager definitely would have told you what you can do and what you can't do on the projects um or the organization. Because because they've put your name as uh, one of the admins, you'll be getting requests. So they'll just tell you don't don't answer any request. Okay. okay. Because they as the line manager will be the one doing that. But you're getting it because they've put you as one of the administrators for the board. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Anyone else? So if anybody, like I yeah. said, hello, Moji. Hi, hi, yes, sir. Yes, so I'm um, thinking that um, since you just said that we can share screen, mm -hmm. sorry, two people can use it at the same time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so if I try to enter now, yes. and so if me. I try to enter now, and try to enter now. Yes, you can be, you can, you can use it. You know, the way Farouk was doing it while I was showing Farouk, if any other person still on this meeting is doing the same thing yeah wherever they are it won't disturb them okay it's i'll try and enter if it comes out let me I'll just because i've been trying to restart my system to see if i can do it i can do it i can do it hi hi moji hi hi Farouk. yeah i just wanted to ask that um personal account that we mm -hmm. kept forgetting and we you know, kept trying to delete and use the other browser for. What yeah. really can we do with that account? What, what's that, it? That's your personal account, yeah? There are times when, it depends on an organization. 
some people mm -hmm. during your retro might not mind your team members might not mind i i think as a scrum master you should be able to put your comments also on mm -hmm. your um retrospective and you don't want to use the admin account to do that you want to use your your personal account to put your um thing in your sorry your comments on the board even though it won't show your name yeah Mm -hmm. We might want to do that. But let me advise that once you start your retro, it's better to use you facilitating or any of the Scrum Masters facilitating the particular retro needs to join that retrospective with the admin account because there's some things you'll be doing. Like all the things I was showing us yesterday, you adding, doing art and being, um, being able to create um, a work item and everything, you will only be able to do that with an admin account creating your projects, uh, your retrospective board, you'll be only be able to do that with an admin account. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. assume that, that you have five Scrum Masters in your team and then maybe you people have um, shared um, responsibility out to say, oh, Farouk, you will do the retrospective. IJ, you will do the sprint planning. If you've shared you know, things or you decide that, okay, this sprint is Farouk and IJ that will work and the next sprint is so, 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 so. I'm just giving suggestions. I'm not saying that's the way you should do it. Mm -hmm. and all that. So we know that for those two weeks, it's Farouk and IJ that are the administrator on the body, the ones doing things. So that doesn't mean the others can't do things also because you're working together. You're all working together. If you feel, oh, I noticed that we've not done this and this because it's Farouk's and IJ's week, I can DM them and say, oh, I noticed um, gentle reminder, you know, you acknowledge we've not done this. It's part of the things we need to do. That is you collaborating, and all scrum masters collaborating together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just need to do what works for, for you. But I always advise scrum master be one voice. Okay. Mm. When you're all meeting together and agreeing as scrum masters, this is what we want to do. This is the person doing this. This is the person doing this. If you are one voice together, then you'll be able to, you know, run that ship in a tight and productive manner than when you're speaking different languages and you don't want to do that because you're the one leading the team okay all right so the personal so the personal um uh login can give you access into the admin onto the board onto the project board yeah, but, once your project board has been created, rem remember that you can only create your project board with the admin. So what yeah. happens now is after this night now that you've, we've given you this, you might decide to meet, you know, all of you meet together and everything and all that. And by yeah. the time you meet to you meet and you decide to do, you put up your project board, you put all your team members' names on it and everything like that. Yeah. And once yeah. you're clicking on their names, definitely, like I said, it will be coming up. You add them to your project board. The mm -hmm. first thing you want to do, because your Spring Zero, what your Spring Zero means is you, Scrum Masters, onboarding your team members. And what that means is that make sure that everybody has an access to all the platforms and the portals they're supposed to have access to. So you're reaching out to your uh, your team members to check on your project platform, on your Telegram platform, your project platform. Does everybody have access now to Teams? Is there anybody having any issues? Those are the things I expect you to be doing now. That's part of your onboarding that you need to do. And by the time you set up your project board also and you put them on it, you're checking out again on the Telegram platform. I've added everybody. Um, are you able to see yourself? Uh, sorry, not are you, able to, are you able to have access to the project board? Can you see the project? Is anybody having any issues? That's your onboarding to make sure everybody has access to what they need to have access to in order you know for four and you have two weeks like i said your spring zero is the setup like your setup times you meet times you do your team bonding times you know yourself do kickoff meetings introduction which i think you started doing already that's when you sort everything out that's when you also make sure that your your bas have reached out to the po to get the, to elicit the requirements. What are we working on? What do we need to do? They've started writing the story and everything. You do all that in those two weeks of your sprint zero. Yeah. So that by your, by the end of your sprint zero, you're starting your sprint one. It's like you're pre you've prepared, you've set everything in place to start your sprint one, where work starts, where development work really starts from. Would you have another question? Yes. So when we have the access to the admin and we've set up the, you know, the alpha team had project and all, mm -hmm. and then we invite the team members. Mm -hmm. When the team members have been added, um, are they going to, when they then log on to, I guess, their personal account, 
Mm-hmm. Do they automatically then see the project or what do they see yes, on this? Yes, because screen? now they've been added to a project. So what what adding them to a project does is removing that um I won't call it a barrier of that the oops, oops message yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. So they go straight into the project. All right. Okay. Do we have any other question from anyone? Hello. Hi, Hesse. Yeah, so it's not a question really. I just wanted to say I've sorted out my I think I joined um through my in my um what you call it internet uh, browser, okay. not through the app. That's why I couldn't share. Oh, okay. Okay. Just so it's sorted case. now. Do you want to try and see if you can share? Not Hello. Let me stop sharing. We can hear you. Oh, it's I can continue, Farouk. I just wanted to use No, we're, we're done. I just want, you know, you said you've sorted it. So we just want to, let's test run it. Let's be, okay. let's be keywords for you. Try and share. Let's see if, once you can share, that's fine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So in case anybody else has that kind of issue, I joined through the browser. That's why I couldn't share. But I now have to go and download because it's a new laptop I'm using. I had to download Zoom on it and then go back into the meeting and now I can share my screen. All right. Thanks, Essie, for that. Okay. Okay, Thank that's nice. You. Okay, Farouk, you can continue since you're already, you know. I know, um, no, you people will meet to do that. You know, we have another meeting by eight, the demo by eight, and it's almost four minutes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But now that now that uh, Farouk is able to do it and everything, every other person just cascade that um email to every other person and the representative of Alpha Team. Please reach out to me. Any tea, should I send it to you? Yes, please. Thanks, Maji. Okay. All right, I'll send it to you and then you can cast it to the other. Scrum. Okay. okay. We have three minutes more for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. we're, we're okay. If anybody doesn't have any questions, we're okay. You can stay on or grab a cup of water, tea, juice. 